We are at the totem pole, which is right behind me here off of Lakeshore Drive. A lot of people don't realize there's a totem pole in Chicago, but this pole has actually been here since 1929. The original totem pole that would have first been in Chicago would have appeared at the World's Fair of 1893, carved by Native Americans. Initially, the tribe that carved them were from the southern tip of Canada near Vancouver. The one that was at the World's Fair was purchased by James Kraft from the Kraft Food Company. He donated it to the city of Chicago in 1929 and had it installed right here. Through so many years of Chicago weather, winters, it deteriorated. It was taken away, sent to be restored. It was never put back here. A new one by the grandson of the original carver of it carved this one, uh, George Hunt. And this one's been here since 1986. It seems like for whatever reason among ghost hunters and ghost tours, this spot has kind of fallen out of favor. But there are still stories of it being haunted. The story is that like many, many years ago, a man was building his cabin out of logs and the logs were very heavy and he was doing it by himself. He saw the Thunderbird and he thought, if the Thunderbird were human, it could help me build this. And then the Thunderbird came down lifted up its mast to reveal a human person and it did help him build a long cabin and it, apparently it remained human for the rest of its time so ever since that story the native americans have worshipped the thunderbird mostly it's apparitions that, that people have seen around it different colored orbs uh, shadows some say they see it shifting to the face will turn some say it faces toward wrigley field supposedly to give the cubs luck didn't happen this year. Yeah, bad luck. <laughs> <laughs>